In this video, I just want to, I'm just going to run through how to test uh, an inverter or a, a variable frequency drive such as this one. This is just a, uh, this is a single phase to three phase Mitsubishi uh, variable frequency drive. So quite a lot of people don't know, quite a lot of engineers even don't know how to test these and they're, they're the sort of thing that, that goes goes wrong quite, quite regularly and basically um, inside them there's there's a set of diodes there are um there's basically a bridge rectifier on the the um the ac side on the that rectifies it to to dc and then there's some diodes on the in the igbts on the output side so i'm not going to go too much into electronic theory because i will very quickly get out of my depth but um basically what you have on in an inverter is you've got your ac power source coming in you've got um, your bridge rectifier um, on a single phase one which is what we've got here you're going to have four diodes and on a three phase one you're going to have six so basically my lines aren't straight but you get this sort of gist of it you're going to have a smoothing capacitor there that's going to smooth out the 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 waveform give us our dc um you've got ac there and we connected there so it's going to let through uh one way goes through the diode and cuts the bottom off the waveform basically only goes through on one side um and on the alternating side it'll do the same down the bottom so what we've got is the smoothing capacitor which then charges up and gives you your other um, basically that sort of affair and on the output side so this is the input input AC and on the output side you're going to basically have IGBTs um, which look a little something like this but normally they're drawn a lot better. Uh, one of them, another diode, um, and you're going to have three of them because of three phase. looking a little something like that so you've got your positive up here negative there positive there negative there AC is there and then you've got your um, your your rectified waveform there and on the output it looks a little bit looks a little something like this you've got your AC rectifier but it's had the frequency inverted something like that so basically what we're going to want to do is put a multimeter across these diodes and very simply there's something you can do while you're um while you're out of the machine or, or whatever it is that you're doing I, I work quite a lot of the time in the food industry and a lot of the panels get sprayed the cleaners like to put a high pressure hose on an electrical panel and see what they can get inside it and these little electronic devices don't like high pressure water so quite often the power side is gone on them they they get a little bit of a they sort of explode a bit and let the smoke out so um, a very simple test that we can do that, that can give us an indication of whether the inverter's actually gone or not is to test um, on either side of these diodes. A diode will let, um, you'll, you'll get a reading, a volt drop across one side and it should block it through the other, so it blocks AC. Um, so basically that's what we want to do with our multimeter is, is, is test the, the diodes on the input and on the output side and then we can we can then get an indication of whether the inverter is any good or not. So just so this bit of paper doesn't, I'll just blow away. I'll just leave a little paperweight there. So most, most, um, most multimeters will have a diode test function. Um, so 
a fairly simple standard multimeter. It's got a diode test function. And what that will enable us to do is see. So we, we're basically testing between this point and these points, and then we're gonna swap over. So on here, you've got the, I can't see, negative side there and the positive side there. These are your input terminals for your single phase AC. And these are the motor term terminals, the three phase rectified uh, for inverted three phase waveform for your motor drive. So uh, basically we're gonna test across these, ensuring we've got a decent connection. So it's got a volt drop of 0.437 across that one. And then if it's okay, we shouldn't have it on the other side. So that's just, uh, so there we go. That was just a resistance reading. So there's nothing on there. So that one's, that the input side is okay. So then we're gonna go to the output side. Okay. And we're gonna test the other side of it. Oh. 377. We're going to want to see that these are all fairly well balanced as well. 377. So they're all fairly well balanced and all look quite good. Let's just check the other side that they're okay, that there's no shorts or um, that they're not. We're not getting a reading off the other side. So we should get a reading. If I'm on the wrong side. Sorry. And the negative one and we shouldn't get anything on this side no okay so that checks out fairly much okay I have got a broken one that I am looking at for a customer and we shall just give this a quick test and you can see what is going to be wrong so that tests out okay, but we've got a reading across that side on our output. And then if we go to the negative, we've got a reading again and we shouldn't have one. So that's reading back through somewhere else through the power supply uh, in, internally and we shouldn't have that on both sides. So there's an issue with this power supply. So there's an issue with this one. And if we take the top off, which I've already done, we can see in there that we've got some components that have got a bit of damage. And so the next job would be to try and strip this down further, uh, interrogate the components and um, see exactly what's gone, what the problems are. It might just be that. As I said, they, they don't like water. This was one from a panel that had got cleaned and it didn't like it. I hope you found that useful. Um, we'll, I'll be coming out with some more videos shortly, how you can, um, on repairing some of these types of devices and some other bits and pieces um, of, of, of regular stuff that we do in our um, engineering company to with, with, with our clients and customers and stuff like that. So hope you find it useful. Hit the subscribe button and give us, let us know what you think in the comments and if you, find, if you found it useful and, and what other stuff you want to know about. Okay.